I did start at a, a topic here about the colon cancer issue. Yeah, this issue here. And I did briefly describe this issue. Briefly, 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 I described this issue. Let me just close this post here with the video. Very short video, which police investigators, I should say criminals, with badges of police investigators in Slovenia are going to confirm firsthand. Maybe they don't like it, but they will. And this they will confirm also with the Slovenian hospital personnel. The word is about colonoscopy. I don't have anything else I would add to this stuff. There is too much to talk about this shit. Maybe what's interesting is, let me demonstrate to you, that the use of garlic created the problem here. Because they would load with the garlic so much during MKL training. Yeah, you feel, but you don't really feel. You you just feel something terrible, fucked up. Uh, you feel like that you could bleed out of it, but you don't really feel. Because under MK Ultra, your body is close to numb. In, in a sense, exactly as I stated. I think that the injury cancer problem this year this is a cancerous problem that's how they created one um, but this is not why I'm here I'm here to finish this post here in this colonoscopy like this here colonoscopy this is the post I have posted yesterday right this issue here right and I clearly indicated that was multivitamin there was all kinds of vitamins they used i have written about that stuff already um <clears throat> even cherries were used it did go to They connected the issues such as lymphoma cancer, uh, kidney, liver failure. Um, this problem here appeared because of the garlic overuse. I got injections in here. How this stuff appeared, I don't know. literally into the area of what I possibly could use for my body to fight the cancer. And one of the issues, if you wonder why garlic was a garlic, because garlic, according to these people, was a magic medication in my case that would solve my problems in respect to cancer. See, so they connected the issue, one issue with another. Till the, they wanted to... Obviously, the goal was to fuck up entire body, destroy absolutely everything in body they possibly could get a hold of. And for every damage caused to the body, whatever they managed to affect chronically, so that during their procedure, don't know what kind of procedure this was, uh, poisoning, whatever they were doing, uh, the fillings always, the plumps always were taken out of the teeth, out of the teeth. Basically, they used two teeth. They, they took all the plums out, they examined them, and they marked whichever tooth could be legible for using this type of practice. So you're talking about channels deeply drilled, and um, as they stated me, ready for for this type of practice you know this was the second two they destroyed me i'm gonna post the video about that stuff because i have already recorded the video i just have to go edit one and then post on the internet that's not what i'm here for i'm here for to clarify the issue about a colonoscopy this year this issue was so severe like colon cancer this issue was so severe 
when it comes to the police, uh, they they wanted to get assurance from doctors, from physicians, just exactly in the same manner as to what they have done with the skin cancer on my back. They wanted to get assurance in respect to the colon cancer that, in fact, I would understand in front of them, in front of the hospital staff also in Slovenia, in Slovenian language, plain and simple. Do you understand me? No. Colonoscopy. Do you see this instrument here that is being used to cut? The most common removal technique, snare polypectomy, whatever. Do you, you see this stuff here? This is what police investigators demanded from me to acknowledge. They were using Slovenian physicians in front of the Slovenian physicians beginning like 2000 and I think maybe this started the first time like in 2013 but slovenian police demanded from me to acknowledge that beginning 2015 they would go ahead and in the slovenian hospitals would use what is known as a polypectomy as you see right there to literally procedure to literally remove the cancerous uh, uh, deposits like this from a column, from the walls of the column, from the column walls. You see this here? They demanded from me to acknowledge in their face, in the face of the physicians they have used in the city of the Novo Mesto, and in the city of Ljubljana, where also, not only in Britain and in the United States of America and Russia, they were doing this kind of, they would go inside and they would examine me a little in my rear, in my ass. Uh, I was forced not to move, do not move, and so on. We're going to perform some uh, certain procedure and so on and so forth. This was many times that took place. But... I actually, look at me, in my face, you motherfuckers. What is written here? What's written here? What is written here, you motherfuckers? That's why this video, what the fuck is written here? You fucking poisoned by compelling me to eat food for which you know is going to rot, is going to cause like a maximum damage to my colon, to degree, I could not even consume one, in fact, when I would need one, to save myself from lymphoma and other problems that you created through the poisoning and through the needle stabbing, literally, into the lymph nodes. All right? We're talking about the cabbage, even we're talking about the cherries and stuff like that, that I would get, like, one day, two day, nothing other than fucking cherries. Diarrhea, for sure, it started to fucking, every time when I would start to eat those cherries during MK Ultra, uh, it felt in my stomach, it's fucking rotting. You understand? The same shit went on with uh, Zelia, Repa, and so on. You are feeling with the raw stuff like this to make lymph intestine rotten during MK Ultra. Inside of this house, yes. Inside of this house. Loaded with the coffee, loaded with the pizza, loaded with the fish, with the fish cans, load of fish cans. You know how that works? I'm going to explain to you exactly how that works. Whatever they find in your house, okay? Let's, for example, say that this is a smaller number shoe than my, my feet is. And you, I don't, you don't use it. You bought the shoes because they look good and you thought... You will only use, maybe when you go to the city, just once a week, maybe, something like this, or once for two weeks or something like that. 
Or maybe not even that. Maybe just so you have that sometime for some time or whatever. Because they were so cheap or whatever. You got that like on a super sale or something like that. Or, and um, yeah, basically the same shit, the same system like with everything else. You buy glue, they destroy you the glue, basically. You buy the... You buy the repair kit for tires and so on. They take the fucking glue and they go like this all over the fucking um, rubber, you know, flicker. I don't know how you say that. What you use to patch the, the tire. Um, they puncture the glue. They fucking unscrew the glue so that it would go out and would not have effect on it and so on. Uh, you eat something that is not healthy or whatever they find in your house. Anything that they find in your house, anything that's actually really not healthy and that's, that's dangerous. Tabasco was used at large. I would consume Tabasco. In the United States of America, I would go for Tabasco. And I had a bottle of Tabasco here. Man, the next thing you'll see is they would start to give me Tabasco like you would fucking drink one, like you drink Coca-Cola or something. I never drink Coca-Cola in my life. And I never forced myself with a Tabasco. But under MK Ultra, you don't fucking know what they're doing to you. You don't have ability not only to defend yourself. You don't feel what the fuck they're doing to you because it makes no difference. If you feel too much, they kill you after all. Do you understand? This is basically the stuff I'm talking about. Anything that can be used, anything that is in your element, that is in your environment, even if it's grown in a garden and can be dangerous, if taken in uh, excess, uh, they make sure they are using it to excess. So that if somebody would come to investigate and so on, they would already have the answers ready and so on. That's basically how that kind of stuff is done. Now, like I told you, it's like a fleece. And it's what they stated me, what I repeat to you. Like fleas coming from one issue to another, basically. And affecting whatever they jump. When it comes to colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. I'm going to end here. In Russia, I was even told they would go and scratch the wall from the column to cause me wounds. And for sure, it will result now in a colon cancer. They would guarantee me that kind of stuff repeatedly. So that's very nice. That was very nice MK Ultra. Um, when it comes to Slovenia, I had to acknowledge, I have to actually thank physicians and doctors during MK Ultra in front of the police investigators. Thanks to whom the criminals who poisoned became now deserved for what you have seen, whether police, police commune or whatever the hell that is, procedures. They've been done in Slovenia beginning the 2015 on me. Actually, beginning probably 2013. 2013 is, I think, when they demanded for me to thank them. Were they really done? This is like... Somebody would go out there and kill your wife, and you would go afterwards in front of you, and they would make you go thank them, basically. Not, not, not on your behalf or something like this, but on their behalf, basically. Like somebody would go and take your life in front of you, and you could not do anything to help her out against this individual, whatever. And you ought to go out there and thank you. Or somebody would go and fucking shoot you. Uh, and bullet would come on the other side of your body out. And he would go and he would take one from your belt or something like this. And he would say, here, sir, that's a bullet uh, that went through. Uh, I pull one out of your body and therefore I save your life. It doesn't. You know, this is, uh, this is bullshit. This is how far this stuff have gone in respect to your, what you wanted, you demanded for me to call this, Enkoi Ultra. Americans argued that what will be done to me is completely inhumane. That is, uh, with the British, that is inhumane, that is, uh, 
uh, if she won't be capable to sleep and who'll be this and we'll be all exhausted and so on and so forth. Uh, that is uh, torture. And so it's a normal thing that, uh, you know, that he would uh, display the signs of uh, mental weakness, uh, that he would display the signs of uh, whatever kind of problems. And they went on to argue in front of me with the psychiatrist guy about, he was making, making point out of, like in a war where somebody is wounded, very, very illustrative shit. Somebody's wounded and suffered a wound. You know, they continued. You could not say that he's a schizophrenic because he's in a, in a delirium, because he's in a pain and so on. And psychiatrists cops argued in front of them. Yes, I could, in fact, and so on. <clears throat> Obviously, Americans didn't give a three fuck about me, even less the British did. Uh, if they had... They wouldn't be doing the stuff like this because I think that none of this is actually. I'm not, this is not even for the animals. This you would not even do to animals. Um, especially, you would not do this to the animals. Um, this is just to make you. This is just how the human rights work, basically. This is the world of this human rights that uh, they embed in our lives, basically, and it's. Um, Something that we see that does not fucking exist, you know, and it's so politically not correct, but enforced down the throat uh, that becomes a sort of tool, a weapon of choice uh, for person to even survive inside of the fucking system or they kill you. This is what they have done to me. Talking about the British and Americans. You got to sing their song or you're simply killed inside of your own system because it becomes so widespread disease. Talking about the human rights. Indifferently from human rights counselor representative that just stepped down from United Nations because he came to the same conclusions that, this, that, that the whole thing is that is divided on people that work in there for the common good for the purpose for what United Nations was established. It's a legal body basically to assist the world, the picture itself within so that it would be within the legal min limits of for what this body was established for and then other portion of these workers at the united nations they are purely seeing this through the political power division so what the fuck can i tell you uh these criminals here from novomis uh, together with the physicians with the doctors where they do colonoscopy are going to not recognize, but they're going to confess about this issue, basically about the attempts of obtaining the statements from me, and they did actually got the statements from me, during which I actually started to thank them, beginning the 2013. How fucking say? You know that picture from this guy from Norway, from, uh, where is he, from Bergen? Uh, this famous uh, artist, Painter, I'm going to end this video with, uh, uh, you know, his painting, basically. Which name is Scream? This, this shit here. The fuck can I tell you? They showed me this painting during MKUltra all the time, you know? No, I don't feel like this. Fuck you. February 18, 2024. You thought, maybe you thought that I would not come back and make the deal out of this stuff. You maybe thought about it. I wouldn't touch this subject. You're going to confess, motherfucker, about this issue. You're going to be confessing 
about inflicting the colon cancer to me. You're going to be fucking, this is going to be the fucking main topic, motherfucker. You're going to be fucking confessing about this shit. And it started not now, in 2013, the poison of the colon. It started in 1995, motherfuckers. You're going to be fucking confessing about the fucking poisoning, especially that it was attributed to the colon cancer. Thank you for watching this video. You better believe it till next time.